Hi guys, I'm so sorry this is late, but um, back in July I went to uh, Hyper Japan. Um, it's actually it was actually my second time going there because um, I've only been there once before, and that was last July. Um, then I went there with friends, but this time um, I didn't go with any of my friends because they were all busy and some of them didn't want to go. So I ended up going on my own, and um, I met lots of people, took loads of pictures. You've probably seen my other video, um, and that's just like most, that's like most of the pictures. I left out only about 10 or 20, just because they weren't really relevant for Facebook, um, Facebook, for YouTube. Anyway, this is my haul video, and I'm going to show you what I bought at Hyper Japan. The first thing I bought was this um, Kawabi headband. It's got like pretty little pink roses on it, and it's just so cute, because... Um, for Hyper Japan, I wanted to go Lolita inspired, but I don't actually own a Lolita dress, and um, I sort of wore like a red um, rose rock chick dress. So, um, and I did my hair and I did like my dark sort of eyes. And then when I bought this, I thought that was so cute. Um, and then when I went, I actually went to Hyper Japan Christmas, and I wore this headband for the day, and I had a really um, cute pretty pink dress and again it was um, Lolita inspired but it was actually like a skater dress um, so that was really nice um, it cost a, I think it cost about £5 as well so um, I was really really pleased with that um, now the next thing I bought was this it's a hair clip and if you look very carefully it's uh, in the shape of Pikachu um, and as you can probably tell by my YouTube channel, when you get as you get to know me, I am obsessed with Pokemon, especially Pikachu, as much as I love my cats. So I was really pleased and happy. Um, I actually haven't taken it out of the packaging yet. I think it's just so pretty, and uh, it's just sort of been sitting in my room where I keep all my hair stuff. And I look forward to using that more often because this is at the moment this is the only Pikachu accessory that I have for my um, for my hair and everything. So um, I look forward to. I really do look forward to using it. And again, I think it's about three pounds um, from one of the look from one of the stores. The next thing I bought were these. Now these are by Meiji, I think that's right. And they're strawberry chocolate. I call them drops. Um, so there's strawberry on the top, and there's like milk chocolate on the bottom. Oh my god, they are amazing. If you've ever had strawberry, like artificial strawberry yogurts, um, or have you heard of Petit Falu? They taste just like, it just tastes like, just like strawberry yogurt. And it, the box always smells really nice. But as you can probably tell, I've actually already eaten them all because they were so, so yummy. Um, and that was a really good purchase. And for that packet, it was only about 100 and 100. Um, it was only about £1.70. One pound seventy to two pounds, and um, I think I bought them from Tofu Cute, which is like a store where they sell like Japanese candy and really cute little bits and bobs, um, anything from like chocolate to like sugary sweet stuff to like Kit Kats and stuff. So uh, that was a really good purchase. And if you see on the box, it says it's forty-five years, um, and I think that's um, and uh, the anniversary of Hello Kitty. And this particular box, special edition, actually has a picture of Hello Kitty on here. So I thought that was even cuter. Because um, you can probably tell by my poster in the background, I love Hello Kitty. Um, obviously because she's a kitty. Um, whether she's obviously a cat or a schoolgirl, I don't, I don't know. I don't care, to be honest. I just love her. Um, <laughs> um, anyway, the next thing I got was this. Now, there was a lady sitting at a desk, and she was doing... Um, she was um, doing like people's names and stuff, and like I think it's Kenji. So um, I asked her if she could write my name, Georgina. And she said to me, "It's Georgina." Um, I think they write it from like top to bottom, bottom to top sort of thing. Um, so, and I was really pleased with that. And I actually got a bigger poster with my cat's name on it. Um, because unfortunately my cat my cat passed away about three or four years ago, and her name was Tabby. So I asked them. I asked her if she could do one for my cat Tabby, but um, I actually can't find the poster because um, I did go to Hyper Japan quite a few months ago now, so 
it is gonna it is somewhere in my room. <laughs> Uh, the next thing I got was, uh, what did I get next? Was this done? Now, if you're probably wondering what this is, there was a lady at the store and she does manga drawing. Um, so um, what she did is she took a picture, she takes a picture of people and then she makes them into like a manga drawing. Now I think this cost about 20 to 25 pounds. It might have been a bit less, actually, it might have been about 10 to 15. Let's just say it's between 10 and 25 pounds. I know that's a big, a big leap, but <laughs> like I said, it's quite a while ago and my brain's not very, uh, you know, with it, um, you know, quite forgetful. Anyway, uh, here is a manga drawing of me. And I love, I love the way that she's done my hair and my, my dark eyes, because... I've actually got hazel coloured eyes, so I've got a bit of a green and a yellow tint in them. And I think that's really cute, um, really kawaii. And a little bit of pink in the background as well. She's actually signed, um, on the back there's actually, um, I think it's her vlog. It says here, it says www.chaitan.blogspot.com So I thought that was really good. Um, and then she's sort of signed in the corner as well here, if you can see. Quite small there. If you can see. A bigger camera. Um, now the next thing I got was... Um, I got some chicken satay. A chicken satay is not like what they have for Chinese. It was actually... It's like fried in like batter and stuff. You know if you ever have um, like a battered sausage? It actually is like that, but obviously with chicken. And because um, I obviously I obviously ate it on the day, I actually <laughs> took a picture of it to show you guys. And as you can, as you can see, that's me holding it up at the camera. Um, and that's what it like. It was three like big bits of chicken and the batter, and it came with sweet chili sauce. And it was actually really nice. But if, if you're not used to having like battered sausages, then it is quite a new thing, you know, for you to taste. Um, but it was really nice though. Um, and that cost again, I think that was about three pounds for the for the stick with the three pieces of chicken on it. Now the last thing I got was my body. Big at you, big at, big at you. <laughs> Sorry, that's my really bad impression. My buddy, big at you. I've I, I've always wanted to get a plushie. And growing up, I've always had like teddies and like dolls in my room and. Obviously, because I'm obsessed with cats, so I've always had like little cat teddies and stuff. And then I got to that age, I think when I turned about 20, 21, I thought, you know what, I'm a bit old now to have teddies on the bed. So I sold them, some of them have gone in the garage. Um, and then, obviously, quite recently, I started getting into, you know, like, more, more my animes, watching more like Sailor Moon, um, some of my Japanese anime, and I actually like, watch a lot of Korean drama and everything. So I thought... You know, I really want to, like, I really love to have a plushie. Because I love my po my Pokemon, I thought I've always wanted to have a Pikachu plushie. So I looked around on the internet, and I looked at all the different stalls. Well, um, some are £25, some are even £30. And then you think, do you know what, is it really worth buying the plushie? So I was just thinking, okay, I'm going to budget £20 and look for a Pikachu plushie. Walked around the whole place, wasn't like, successful. And then I found a store which actually had Pokemon plushies and Pokemon like slippers. So there were Pikachu slippers um, and a few other Pokemons. I think they had Nintendo as well, so like Mario, Luigi and um, all the mushrooms, all that sort of stuff. And I happened to notice this Pikachu hanging up. And like, it was like a little wool, you know, like a wool sort of frame. And it had all the plushies sort of hanging off. And I think I noticed two Pikachus. And I saw this one, and I sort of fell in love with it. And I asked them, how much is Pikachu? And they said, I think they said it was about £20. So it was either £20 or £25. But again, because I got him back in July. Um, so a bit forgetful, so. Um, but yeah, I think I got him for about £20. And I'm really happy with my purchase. I've still got a little tag here from where it had obviously the uh, Pokemon sort of logo where he was made um, but I've kept this little tag in because it's like a little piercing for him you know it's what makes my Pikachu my Pikachu and um, some of the stitch as well around his eye 
and on his mouth and still needs cutting which I haven't done yet um, but I really do love my Pikachu um, and I've actually got a few other plushies as well now but obviously I'm going to talk about them in an another video so all in all I didn't get much but I must have spent about £60 for the day um, I had I also had some noodles when I was there um, now they ran out of like all the meat noodles so I literally just had vegetable noodles and um, they filled me up, they weren't the best ones I've had actually to be honest but uh, yeah, they did fill the gap and it was just a really nice event so um, please check out my other video, my Hyper Japan uh, 2014 um, slideshow of just pictures of me when I was there anyway thanks for watching this video guys I hope you have a good new year and I'll speak to you soon okay bye sayonara